lots of people. So today, I thought I would do a little thrift haul since yesterday I went to a thrift store for the first time and I found some really awesome pieces. So I thought I'd show you guys. The first piece that I found was a super cute black and white striped dress, which is originally from H&M. It was $9. It's like this and it cinches in around your waist. Um, yeah, super cute, super simple. This was six bucks. I didn't even try it on because I was kind of in a rush, but yeah, it's like a khaki green cami with lace at the bottom, super pretty. This is probably my favorite top. So on the front, it's got this really cool design on it. It sort of looks like an African design and I really like it I'm digging this and then the back that's like a rope and it's knotted right here so this is probably my favorite one five dollars this one is from Old Navy it's like this and it's flowy and that one was also five dollars this skirt was only seven dollars so it's like it's like a taupe sort of brown, I don't know how to explain it, but it's this really cute skirt and my favorite part about it are these little studs and there's freaking pockets on the skirt, like how cool is that? Mm -mm. Love. These shorts, girl, they're so freaking cute, I can't believe I found these. So these are from Gap and they were six bucks. Look at them! Eh. They look massive when I hold them up like this, but they're actually not. They fit really well. So they are just white shorts with these little blue flowers on them. Love. Super cute. Awesome. Moving on. What the hell was that? Like, I'm so weird. I'm sorry. These. This is the second most comfortable thing that I've gotten in this entire shopping trip. These shorts um, are from a brand called Love Fire. I've never heard of them, but they're super comfortable and they were $6. Like, can you get any better than that? I don't think so. They're so cute, extremely comfortable, and go with literally everything because they're just a dark denim. And like, let's be real here, what shirt does not go with dark denim? So. This is my other favorite um, and most comfortable thing that I got out of this whole trip. This sweater from Gap, it's definitely oversized on me. It's really big, but that's kind of what I was going for because I love wearing leggings and oversized sweaters. That's just my thing. This is from Gap and it was $6. Let me tell you, it is the softest thing ever it's so comfortable like i wish i wish you could put your hand through the screen right now and grab this because it's so freaking soft i'm in love so this is just a sweater from a brand called hanes hands i don't know how to pronounce it but it's just a basic blue crew neck sweater again a little oversized not as oversized as the gray one from Gap but I'm all about comfort and I just as soon as I saw those I knew I had to have them because A super comfortable B super cheap so why not what in the heck kind of sounds like a thunderstorm upstairs but it's just my dogs so whilst I was at the thrift store I came across some really fun things and okay anyone that knows me knows that i have a low-key obsession with anything that's either pink or sparkly and you best believe your girl found something that ticks both of those boxes these do not fit me but i don't care because when i get a bookshelf i'm gonna put these on there as decoration look at these they're like freaking barbie princess shoes aka me in a shoe oh my freaking god 
these are Steve Madden pink glittery heels and I'm so annoyed that they're a size too big but you know what they're gonna make an awesome piece of decor I did try walking them last night and I can walk in them just not very well because they're a size too big but look at that I wish you would focus right now but I'm in love I'm going to Italy in a couple of days, which I'm super excited about, and I've been on the hunt for the perfect sandals that are understated, neutral, will go with pretty much anything, but are extremely comfortable because we're going to be doing a lot of walking and a couple of bike tours, and girl, these were $8, $8 from Echo, like, they're not the cutest, but they're extremely comfortable. And trust me when I say they look a lot better on. Now these two, okay, I didn't really need them, but I needed them, you know? I got two little mason jars. This one was only a dollar. And this one with a straw I got for iced coffee. Because I decided that I need to start drinking my coffee with a straw. So I don't stain my teeth. Um, and then this one, it's got a chicken on it. Look at that. Look at all those chickens! <laughs> so this one with a little handle on it, it's perfect for my morning smoothie. So you best believe you're gonna see an Instagram with this. Mm -mm -mm. Why am I so awkward? Like I'm just the most cringy, awkward person. I'm sorry. I don't even know why you subscribed, but I'm glad you are. Anyway. And the last thing is a lamp. This reminds me of the Pixar lamp, even though I know it's not got this sort of thing on it, but like this part, the actual lamp part, reminds me of the Pixar lamp. Four dollars. This one I got for the desk that I'm going to be getting. Um, I just thought, you know, with this flexible part, it would be good for when I'm working. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot to show you. So, apart from the clothes and the sandals, I got this specifically for walking around in Italy because it's the perfect size. I can fit my medication in this little pocket and then my phone and my money in this one and my camera because I'm going to be taking lots of pretty pictures in this one. It's super cute and it was $4. So, I think that concludes everything for today's haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you next time. Till I get up